So hi there all, this is Anjali Taro and this is a journal what's coming towards you in the good stuff for the month of, uh, for the remaining month of November 2024. I'm going to pull three messages for you guys uh, from the like uh, Rider Waite Tarot deck, the normal tarot which we use and uh, we are going to see what are going, going to be the messages for you guys. These are not related to anything specific, mess like any career or love or anything specific, whatever messages are going to come. I am going to just tell you guys for what it is, okay? Uh, because it is in the good stuff, we are going to take the positive aspects only. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm getting without any kind of sugar coating, okay? Now, uh, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey, but you don't know from where to start and what to do, let me introduce you to a very beautiful uh, healing modality that's known as Ho'oponopono. The master class is in the link, uh, link. And you can definitely check out my another channel also, the Modern Sanyasini. I'll give you the link in the description box. You will be able to know a lot about uh, spirituality, uh, spiritual stuff, healing, healing modalities, everything. Uh, like uh, a lot of things regarding sp spirituality, not everything obviously. And Osho also. And if you want one-on-one uh, -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box for the same and you can mail me, okay? Now, let's start for Aries, what we have for the rest of the month of November 2024 in the good stuff. Three messages for Aries people in the good stuff for the rest of the month of November 2024. Let's see. Okay, first message is the page of swords. You will be a learner. You will be learning something new. It's like uh, you are going to be a student. If you are trying your best to start something, like start learning something new, a new skill, new art form, new uh, business opportunity, whatever is applicable in your case, it's very, very uh, good timing for you to start uh, learning again. Okay, or unlearn whatever you have learned till now and start learning again from fresh. So basically go back to your roots and start learning. You are going to be uh, a student this month. Okay, second card we have the Hermit because of all your growth and expansion, because of all your experiences, I am I should say, because of all your experiences, you have gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom in some areas of your life and you can use that knowledge and wisdom to your uh, own benefit now, like maybe uh, like spiritual benefit and or some kind of uh, financial monetary benefits. Whatever it is, there are very good chances that you uh, that you have the capacity and the potential to turn some kind of experience into wisdom and knowledge, and then gaining uh, a lot of you know good vibes, good energies, and maybe uh, spiritual and monetary benefits as well from that. So okay, basically you are telling me that you want to start something new. You have the experience, you have the wisdom in some area of your life that you can definitely uh, you know uh, use to your own uh, like. Uh, for your own growth and expansion. Oh my God, what is wrong? So page of swords, learning new skills. The hermit, you already have some kind of wisdom or knowledge or experience in some field, some area of your life. Use that uh, for your own good, okay? Knight of swords, suddenly out of the blue, something will start happening. Something will start uh, going in your direction, in your favor. Something that is stuck, something that is not uh, happening from quite a long time. It's like going to, it's like going to be a sudden unexpected kind of surprise. Uh, because it's in the good stuff, so definitely this is some kind of good surprise coming towards you, which is going to make you feel a little bit shocked and surprised for a bit. But at the same time, you're going to be quite excited about the future direction of that particular thing that you are trying your best to uh, achieve something in. Very good. Now, let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, let's see what's coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of November 2024, honey. We have the Hierophant and the Moon card and the Page of Wands. Hierophant, Taurus, this is your card only. Major, major spiritual growth and or you are going to find a guru or mentor or someone who can help you to heal and move on to the next chapter of your life. Okay. And if you are on your spiritual path, the, the universe got your back. You are going to gain a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of followers as well. If you are somebody who is uh, like a mentor or guru or a teacher or something like that. So spiritual growth is going to be very, very enhanced in this particular uh, remaining days of November 2024. And uh, you are going to gain a lot of followers as well. 
because in the it's in the positive stuff so you are going to gain positive followers positive feedbacks for positive vibes positive energies and a lot of uh, uh, spiritual growth hmm. the moon the second message here is you will be able to overcome some kind of fear that you are going through from a from quite a long time now taurus there is certain kind of fear in some area of your life that you're continuously worried about scared of and you're not able to face the fear head on face the situation head on whatever it is whatever fear whatever troublesome energy you are having for some of you you are getting nightmares from quite a long time now then uh, it will stop and or you will be able to face your fears head on in some area of your life and you will be able to overcome that fear very very beautiful it's not going to be easy though it's not an easy process but you are going to make it by the end of this month just uh, keep going and uh, face this fears head on don't worry about it it's just fear fear is nothing just uh, mind telling us to not to go in a certain direction so that uh, we, we 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 are not going to grow wow okay now the third message we have is the page of wands you are going to travel a lot and or you are going to have a child like energy child like innocence you are going to accomplish a lot in a less time in lesser time it's like accomplishing more and doing less okay so use this child like energy child like innocence child like uh, enthusiasm to like in your favor as much as you can taurus taurus people are uh, like uh, rarely who are uh, rarely going to do anything stupid when it comes to uh, situations that takes time patience is the key here you guys are extremely patient but right now the universe is blessing you with you blessing you with child like energy and innocence and the uh, enthusiasm please go ahead and make use of make good use of this time because you can accomplish a lot in this particular uh, month remaining month okay honey let's move on to gemini let's see what what messages we have for gemini people in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 seven of wands and the king of cups and the lovers okay i am getting uh, like uh, the signs or uh, the messages for the signs that they belong to in tarot anyway seven of uh, wands you are going to be extremely in the, uh, good in this energy of creating boundaries around you and respecting your own boundaries and your decisions so it's like you are going to make some kind of decisions and you are going to stick to stick to that decision no matter what no matter other people uh, what what other people are feeling or saying or uh, trying to manipulate you or achieve something out of that you are not going to be bothered okay and you are going to create strong boundaries and uh, you are going to take decisions and you are going to stick to that that is a very very good thing because um of your you know a somewhat conflicting nature you are not able to do that but for some good reason you will be able to do that this uh, remaining days of this month and you are going to enjoy this freedom that comes with the boundaries that you are going to set for yourself and others as well around you very good king of cups emotional stability the second message here is you are going to gain a lot of emotional stability within yourself emotional contentment and fulfillment within yourself and you are going to realize that all the time that you were trying to like find love from the outside world it was actually within yourself only that all you had to do is to just to realize and connect with your heart basically your heart chakra is going to open up and balance in a very very beautiful way very good the lovers again a decision making is on the cards for you guys it is going to be something related to your heart matter of heart it could be related to love and relationship area romantic love and or it could be related to a situation or a connection or a relationship where your heart is kind of very very much connected in that direction and you are going to make some kind of right choice right decision and, and you are going to feel very very light about it it's like finally i'm taking the charge of my life finally i'm taking the decision i'm making up my mind in this direction and finally i am realizing how beautifully uh, my life is sorted now wow this one decision is going to change a lot for you guys uh, gemini in the remaining days of november 2024 so basically setting boundaries emotional contentment emotional um uh, what we get maturity and a decision that is going to change your life for the better for the best you can say now moving on to cancer what are the messages for cancer people in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 honey radhe 
okay cancer people page of wands is the first message a lot of energy lot of enthusiasm lot of this energy of let's do this let's do that let's do this let's do that you are going to be excited like a child you are you are going to be enthusiastic like a child and you are going to plan to travel a lot or explore um, explore a lot in different different areas of your life especially in your career and job and financial area you are going to be in this energy of no matter what i have to do something different and i have to use all of my enthusiasm all of my energies and all of my uh you know um wisdom you can say see even though it is a page of words this is the energy but you have the wisdom and the knowledge and the experience of what to do and how to do it all you want uh, to do here is to uh, use the childlike innocence and enthusiasm to do that yeah especially in your work and job and career area so basically you are going to have a lot of energy and enthusiasm to start doing something and explore something beautiful let like, just do that because the other card is the fool you are going to take some kind of risk in some kind of direction it's like taking the leap of faith with the universe and you are going to be very much sure the universe got your back and you are going to accomplish everything when the timing is going to be right so that kind of uh, enthusiasm that kind of energy of trust and that kind of energy of okay let's do it that is going to be your attitude cancer in some area or areas of your life and the universe is going to beautifully bless you with the good vibes good energies and good people around the uh along the way you can say okay now we have the world card the third message is the world card this is going to be a completion of a cycle in your life a one cycle is going to complete and another is going to start something that you were not able to close maybe in your connection relationship area and or something related to your work or job or career area something is going to finish here this is a completion of one era one cycle of your life and uh, like start of a brand new chapter in your life in the coming future starting of a brand new cycle of your life cycle in your life okay that's a really cool energy for cancer people now let's move on to leo people let's see leo what is coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 honey oh i just forgot i had to <laughs> pull the cards hmm. leo let's see we have the page of pentacles the sun card the ace of cups this is strange i am getting the like the the astrological cards for each sign naturally today not each sign but most of you taurus we had gemini we had now leo we have on the deck uh, on the table anyway the page of pentacles starting uh, something very very small but that something has a potential to become something very big in the coming future it's it could be a career opportunity financial opportunity it could be you starting something new it could be anything but it is related to your stability in the coming future start of a brand new uh, chapter in your financial and career area it's like it again it could be something very very uh, small very small but this has the potential to become something very big in the coming future yeah the sun card you are going to be very very happy this month remaining month very very happy you are going to be very enthusiastic full of energy full of good vibes full of good uh, a uh, good kind of you know cheerful kind of energies around you and you are going to be like a child open like a child uh, open hearted like a child open energies open vibes open kind of uh, ready to receive kind of energy and the universe is going to bless you with a lot of lot of happiness because you are ready to receive and your heart chakra is go also going to open up in a very very positive way your heart and your soul is going to like be is going to be full of love full of um, care full of blessings full of this energy of okay uh, let's love everyone equally let's uh, accomplish uh, something beautiful with all of our heart and soul basically keeping your heart chakra open and feeling blessed feeling blessed and giving blessings to all those who are going to come in your uh, direct contact i mean uh, in your around your energy surrounding your energies you are going to be very happy leo if you are going to keep your heart and soul open towards new experiences new situations new kind of energies you are going to imbibe a very very beautiful energy around you surround, surrounding a very very positive aura and attracting those kind of energies towards you naturally wow very good leo i'm so 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 happy for you after a very long time i'm seeing such a great energy for leo people now moving on to virgo let's see virgo 
what is coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 honey we have the hanged man the ace of swords the queen of cups these three different messages hanged man you are going to be in the surrender mode finally you will be able to understand what is the true meaning of letting go and surrender that is the biggest 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 message and lesson you guys can ever you know get from any anything or anyone or any experience surrender and letting go is the best thing that you can achieve on a spiritual level as well and on a human level as well basically you are going to learn the art or you will start uh, learning the art of letting go and surrender and you will be able to understand what is the true essence of this this particular line that i said letting go and surrender okay so you are you are going to have a changed perspective changed energies you will be able to understand other people's point of view and on a spiritual level also you will be able to understand again how to uh, like uh, incorporate the art of uh, letting go and surrender in your life ace of swords you are going to be very very clear very clear in your mind space regarding a particular situation and you are going to go straight on that path and work on that and you're going to get success and victory as well this success and victory is not an easy task to do it's not coming towards you just like that you work very hard for it now you are very very cute uh, very very uh, clear in your mind space and in your actions and you are going to definitely get some kind of success and victory in some area of your life where you were continuously struggling it's not an easy easy breezy kind of a success that's uh, that you got it's not like overnight success this is something that you are creating uh, with your hard work with all of your heart and soul but you have the proper clarity and understanding of what you want and how you want it and boom you will get it we have the queen of cups self love self love self care self healing at its peak and having a lot of compassionate and kind and loving kind of energy inside of you that you are going to uh, spread uh, to others to spread outwards as well it's like a uh, spreading a lot of love because you are going to be full of love okay to everything and everyone that you are going to connect with on a very very beautiful level it's like basically motherly kind of uh, feelings motherly kind of blessed kind of loving and compassionate kind of feelings that you are going to uh, you know you know imbibe uh, surrounding you my goodness what is happening today with me i'm feeling a lot of love towards everything and everyone i don't know what is happening my heart chakra is opening up it's already open but i mean it's getting a little more balanced there's no such thing as more open more balanced it's either balanced or not it's either open or not yeah but for some reason i'm feeling a little more connected to the divine today virgo wow i mean it's i'm talking to everyone but while doing the virgo reading today i got i just got some kind of uh, hit in the third eye and my heart chakra as well that's really pretty really beautiful feeling i can't tell you guys anyways let's move on to libra honey let's see what we have for libra for the rest of the month of november 2024 in the good stuff we have the high priestess the hierophant and the ten of cups first of all libra i'm getting two messages related to your spiritual growth your intuition is going to be very 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 high okay the high priestess and the hierophant together it's a match made in heaven spiritual connections divine connection either you are going to feel a divine connection with somebody outside of you like another energy another person and or you are going to be so beautifully aligned with your spiritual energies with the universe divine feminine divine masculine you are going to feel like a complete person within yourself a complete energy within yourself you don't need outside um people outside energies to make you feel complete in any way this is the this is the best feeling i am i feel spiritual people can die for this kind of feeling that you are going to experience by the end of this month if you are on your spiritual path if not then this is something related to your intuition getting more and more powerful basically even if you are working on that or not you meeting a mentor or guru or somebody who can help you to heal in certain areas of your life and move to the next chapter that is the deal here okay if you're already on that spiritual path if you're working continuously and deliberately on your spiritual growth you are going to get a lot of spiritual growth this particular month i'm getting a little, little jealous i don't get jealous from anything or anyone uh, to be honest a little jealous because i'm on the spiritual path right now working uh, very not hard i'm enjoying the path <laughs> but you're getting it i'm just 
little jealous, little bit. But I am just so happy for you guys. If you are on that on that path, you are going to be beautifully aligned with your energies, and you are going to enjoy this blissful energy very, very beautifully. Wow! Please uh, invite me to your house if you are a Libra and you are working on your spiritual path. I will stay with you then <laughs> for this month. Yeah. Now, ten of cups, another message. See, the thing is, either you are going to spend a lot of time with your family and or with people who are like family to you. But you are going to feel a very beautiful, very happy, very content kind of energy within yourself. See, ag again, if you are on your spiritual path consciously, you are going to feel the whole world is your family. You are going to feel very beautifully aligned with every people, every person, every energy you are going to meet. Like they are your family member. If you are not, then also I do see you connecting with people who are going to give you a family kind of a vibe and or connecting with your literal family and having a very very good time with them okay cool that's really cool let's move on to scorpio let's see scorpio what's coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 honey six of swords for a pentacles knight of swords Six of Swords is finally finding a calm, like a peaceful, a peaceful energy, a peaceful space for yourself, leaving the past baggage behind and moving on towards calmer water. If you are not able to find a peaceful solution to a problem that you are facing from quite a long time now, from four of six weeks to six months, I guess. I'm not guessing it. It's like the timeline is here only. You will be able to find a peaceful resolution to a problem that you are facing from quite a long time, and you're facing it continuously, continuously, repetitive cycle. So you will be able to definitely find a solution to that problem and or you will be able to uh, like leave some of your past baggages behind and move on to the next chapter of your life with peace and with the, this energy of okay i got it i got it yeah four of pentacles another uh, second message you will be able to release something or someone that you're holding on to from quite a long time it could be a belief system it could be uh, like something unhealthy it could be a connection it could be a person it could be a situation you were getting very miserable, not miserable actually, yeah, miserable also. You were getting very miserable and you were getting very, uh, very much in this attachment kind of energy of this is something that belongs to me only or this is something that I'm not, never letting go of and finally you are realizing that it's not working in a healthy way so you are releasing it. Finally able to let go of something or someone that you're holding on to from quite a long time. For some of it could be a simple belief or others of it could be something bigger that you are holding on to but finally you are releasing it. Knight of Swords, a happy surprise, a happy surprise, a happy shocking surprise is on the way for you guys. This is something that uh, when you are going to be least expecting it to happen or when you are going to be least expecting something, some, something, that, uh, something of that kind to come in your life or enter in your life, then uh, this is going to happen Scorpio. And this is uh, something that is going to make you really very, very happy because we are all talking about the good stuff today only. So this is something that is going to come towards, like, uh, towards you like, oh my God out of nowhere out of uh, like the blue out of the blue some kind of beautiful happy surprises on the way for you guys uh, enjoy <laughs> okay let's um, move on to sagittarius okay honey let's see sagis what's coming towards you and the good stuff for the month of november 2024 let's see We have the Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So these are three separate messages. Uh, don't mix them. If you are already a tarot reader, we have the tendency to mix all, to, 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 to all the cards and make a story. But these are three separate messages. Sagis, Eight of Pentacles. You are going to put in the effort and energy from your side in something that you really truly believe in that this is something that I want to work on maybe for the rest of my life. So putting in the effort and energy into something from your side is uh, foreseen and you're going to put all of your energy and effort with all of your heart and soul into something and it will start working out in your favor in a very very beautiful way so basically the result of your hard work is going to be on the way for you guys stop, don't stop keep going even if you're not going to see the full results please don't stop keep going because you will definitely be able to see the results by the end of this month and that can give you uh, enough enthusiasm and enough motivation to keep going okay so keep going Results of your hard work is on the way, honey. Two of Pentacles, if you're super confused or in some area of your life, going back and forth uh, in some area of your life and you're not able to understand what you should do, 
you will be able to find a solution to that so your confusion your back and forth energy your this and that uh, this or that kind of energy is going to stop and you are going to feel uh, at ease and you will be able to make up your mind find a solution to a confusing state confusing situation and you will definitely be able to be at peace in that area of your life like okay now i'm at peace balance some kind of balance balance restored or balance gained in a situation that you are quite confused about uh, back and forth about on and off about ace of swords a lot of mental clarity some kind of truth is going to be revealed to you or you are going to get a lot of clarity within yourself about certain area of your life about a certain situation and you are going to make sure that this is something that is going to be as clear as uh, from your side and uh, you are going to get success in that area of your life right right see this is not going to be an easy path it's like success after a lot of uh, ifs and buts and conflicts and this and that but you are going to get it eventually so success is on the way for you guys eventually uh, just uh, stay very very clear on your path stay very very clear in your communication and keep going okay honey success is there for you guys success and victory after a lot of ifs and buts and conflicts and struggles but success is going to be there so many times i have said i have said success today i'm manifesting it actually i mean not consciously in any area of my life it's happening actually because it's coming out of my mouth uh, like uh, today i guess i have said uh, success like 100 to uh, 150 times since morning okay let's see for capricorn capis what's coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 hmm. three of cups a celebration on the way okay a lot of celebration a lot of happiness you are going to connect with people uh, maybe uh, different culture people different uh, uh, energy people and or you are going to celebrate some kind of success and victory where a lot of people are involved and or you are going to attend a party attend a marriage ceremony and or it's your own engagement or marriage or some some kind of happy news some kind of happy celebration you are going to have with somebody a lot of people are going to be there and you guys are going to be spending a lot of good time with each other for some of it's a reconciliation coming together with somebody maybe from maybe from a romantic relationship point of view and or old friends meeting or something like that but there is a reason to celebrate and you guys are going to be quite happy about this coming together coming back together annual party whatever is applicable in your case seven of cups you are confused about certain area of your life you are emotionally very confused about certain area of your life and you are trying your best to make sense of that particular area and trying to find a way so you will be able to come out of this that confusion and you will be able to find a solution to this confusion so basically you will be able to sort out this emotional confusion by sorting out what you actually want what you what you actually need and what your heart and soul is kind of telling you to do in that direction and you will be able to find a solution then yeah so something that is kind of confusing you emotionally is going to uh, be sorted by the end of this month nine of pentacles a lot of money financial success financial gains status so you are going to be super focused on your money job career and your looks as well and you will be able to find a, uh, like a very very comfortable position in your life where you are going to feel independent successful aligned with your energies aligned with your uh, own uh, uh, happiness and like feeling the sense of independence and feeling the sense of stability within yourself a lot of financial gains are also seen if you are in a business uh, a kind of a uh, deal and or if you are working on something from a from quite a long time you will be able to see the results by the end of this month in your financial and work area career area very beautiful very very beautiful okay capis that's cool let's move on to aquarius let's see what is coming towards aquarius people for the rest of the month of november 2024 for the in the good stuff sorry yeah let's see we have the two of wands the fool card and the queen of swords two of wands is basically if you are waiting for something or someone and you're waiting and waiting and waiting the wait is going to be over aquarius for some of you you might be waiting for some kind of documentation visa approval for some kind of news from foreign land foreign land or and or you are going to uh, you are in this energy of waiting for something to happen or some kind of news or some kind of good news from a situation that you're holding on to from quite a long time you will be able to uh, get the answer by the end of this month so wait is going to be over and it is going to make you feel at peace and at comfort 
okay after quite a long time <laughs> Now the fool card. So you are going to take a leap of faith. Uh, basically, you are going to take some kind of risk in a direction where you are going to feel you might or might not get success, but you will definitely be able to find out the energy and the enthusiasm to go to start going in a particular direction, even if it is risky. And you are going to feel that okay, the universe got your back. You have uh, some people around you who can help you uh, in going in a certain direction, even if it is risky, even if it is something that is not. Uh, giving you any kind of uh, very good kind of uh, 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 energy right now. So you're going to take some kind of risk. You're going to have some, uh, some kind of leap of faith of, uh, okay, let's do this uh, with the universe, aligning with the universe, aligning with the energies and going in that direction with full faith, with full enthusiasm. Queen of Swords, cutting a lot of people, situations and things out of your life, out of your system that are not aligning with your energies and values anymore. That is going to be your energy. That is going to be your third message that you will you are going to have a power you are going to have that cutthroat energy aquarius that you will be able to understand which people which energies are good for you and which are not good for you and what you should do and what you should not do in that direction and you will be definitely cutting a lot of people situation things out of your life that are not aligning with your values and energies anymore wow aquarius that's a very cool thing to do because a lot of people can't do that i have seen people struggling my own mother like um, she's uh, 57 58 now i guess and she don't have this courage to like have strong boundaries around her people just uh, you know uh, she's a very sweet uh, soul by the way so <laughs> even if people hurt her she like uh, allow them to hurt her again you know so basically you can't change your own actually parents or anybody so it's a like a, it's like a totally different journey. My to, my journey is totally different. Theirs is totally different. But I'm just telling you that I am the, such kind of woman. I have strong boundaries. If I'm telling somebody to not to do something, if they are going to repeat it, I'm going to cut them out of my life. But some people can't have that. It was just an example. My own mother is she she's sweet. Every like every person has a good and a bad side, but she's sweet. But she don't know how to create boundaries and how to you know basically lack of self-love and that energy of oh my god i'm a woman i should do that and do this so yeah that kind of energy anyways let's uh, move on to pisces pisces let's see honey what is go coming towards you in the good stuff for the rest of the month of november 2024 wow ace of wands so your uh, physical intimacy thing is going to enhance in this month if you are ready uh, to go in that direction so basically i do see if your sex life is boring and or you are not have intimacy from quite a long time then the, you are going to get chances to do that if you are willing to do that first message second you are going to be very enthusiastic very energetic very much in this energy of traveling a lot exploring a lot starting uh, having a brand new beginning in some area of your life where you are going to feel very very passionate about that particular area situation or thing or person might be but it is going to be a brand new beginning in certain area of your life where you are going to feel quite passionate about that area and you're going to feel like this is something that i wanted to do, do from quite a long time and now i'm doing it that kind of energy queen of cups a lot of self-love self-care self-healing and self-nurturing and compassionate kind of energies that you are going to have within yourself first and then you are going to spread this love, this compassionate and loving and nurturing kind of energies to others as well in a very, very beautiful and loving and caring kind of way. So basically, you are going to attract a lot of people towards you who needs real love, real blessings. And you are going to have that power to do that. Now, don't overdo that. Don't, don't uh, feel like, okay, you are a guru or somebody or you are a saint or somebody who can uh, help everybody coming their way. Don't do that. Don't do stupid things. Fill your own cups with love, with blessings. And start doing this this naturally and naturally you will be able to do it uh, without any kind of you know deliberately trying to force it or do it yeah five of wands the last message you will be able to come out of some kind of kind of conflict or chaotic kind of energies that you are facing might be from quite a long time now it could be an internal conflict it could be some kind of fight or drama going on in your family and or with other people it could be a relationship whatever it is you will be able to find a solution to a conflicting and chaotic situation, some kind of drama, some kind of uh, issue is not going to be there anymore and or you will be able to sort it out uh, very beautifully because this is something that is kind of chaotic, kind of uh, 
energy draining and you will be able to find a solution to that either you are going to be like okay i'm not going to be a part of this drama anymore that is also a good thing and or you will be able to find a solution to the problem and other people other energies involved will be able to understand your point and the drama and the conflict and chaos is going to be sorted whatever way you are going to like uh, find a solution you are going to have a win win kind of situation in this direction where there is some kind of conflict or drama is going on yeah cool honey so let's quickly take the uh what we have mm -hmm. guidance for each sign very very quickly let's do it from aries till pisces i forgot it while i was doing the reading for Aries, Eight of Pentacles, put in the effort and energy from your side in whatever you think is good for you and right for you and keep working on that, uh, keep working in that direction because this is something that is going to give you uh, very good results in the coming future. Taurus, Knight of Swords, don't lose your patience no matter what, don't do anything stupid in rush or hurry or don't do mindless thing, okay, just uh, uh, stop before you act, stop before you act and think before you act, Taurus. Strange. <laughs> Gemini, Three of Cups, okay. Uh, go out of your comfort zone and meet new people, connect with new people, connect with new energies. Be happy. Be happy and, and celebrate life. So celebrate the good things in your life as much as you can, Gemini. This way you will be able to attract good people, good energies, good vibes towards you naturally, okay. So celebrate life. Celebrate the good things in life. Basically, focus on the abundance mindset rather than focusing on something negative all the time. Okay, honey, Gemini. Cancer, Knight of Wands, okay. Do whatever you think is right for you. Take the action. Taking the action from your side is very, very important, Cancer, in order to get what you really want in your life and do it with uh, all of your enthusiasm, all of your energy, heart and soul, right? So basically, take the action from your side in whatever area of your life you are feeling like you should do something about it, but you're not doing it. Just do it, <laughs> Nike, okay? Cool. Leo the devil. Okay, you have to leave every situation that is toxic for you, that is bounding you in any way unhealthy patterns unhealthy situation unhealthy kind of toxic kind of situations things or it could be some kind of you know addiction that you have towards something or someone you have to let go of that let go of that okay toxicity and addictions of any kind should be sorted out as soon as possible because it might create some kind of trouble for you in the coming future okay honey now we have Virgo, Seven of Wands. Create strong boundaries, Virgo. It is very, very important for you guys to create boundaries and then remain strong. Like, uh, like create boundaries, take decisions and stick to them. Okay? So that others can also follow you. <laughs> it's very, very important. Libra, we have the Seven of Swords. Be very, very honest with yourself, Libra. If you're going through something uh, and you are continuously lying to yourself, everything is fine, nothing is wrong, everything is good, don't lie to yourself. At least be very, very honest with yourself with whatever is happening or whatever is going on and take things, situation, people uh, for what they are and who they are instead of making it something else because it's going to like um, make you feel uncomfortable afterwards. Scorpio temperance. Patience is the key here. Do not lose your temper. Do not lose your patience. Patience is going to help you in achieving something that you, fi that you feel is not uh, something that you are going to achieve uh, anytime soon. So patience is the key here. One day at a time, one step at a time is going to help you to achieve something really, really good in the coming future as well. Okay, honey, for the rest of the month of uh, November 2024. Sagittarius, we have the emperor. Take the charge of your life in your hands, Sagittarius. No one else, nothing else should be held responsible for your life, your happiness, your sadness. This is you. This is between you and you always. And it is always going to be like this only for the rest of your life. Maybe afterwards as well. Who knows? But the thing is that take the charge of your life in your own hands. Make your own decisions and stick to those decisions. And just uh, be responsible for whatever is happening in your life. Don't try to put the blame game or uh, do something uh, shitty and uh, make uh, and uh, make others feel like uh, they made a mistake by connecting with you. Like this. Just give an example. Capricorn, the sun card, the more you are going to be in the happy-go-lucky kind of vibes and energy, the more you are not going to be in the very serious kind of energy, the more you know, the universe is going to bless you with happiness and happy news and happy kind of energies around you. So basically, serious is ne seriousness is something that you have to leave behind. Childlike innocence, childlike energy, child childlike uh, uh, enthusiasm is required from your side in order to attract the good people, good vibes, good energies towards you. 
Aquarius, two of swords, if you are feeling blocked in certain area of your life, please clear the air within yourself as much as you can from your side. It's like getting a proper clarity in certain area of your life, you are feeling where you are feeling blocked in from quite a long time now. And this is your own created blockage. It's like you are continuously thinking about uh, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do, do the right thing. Just do whatever you feel is the right thing to do. Even if it is going to bother you or hurt you for some time, you will be able to get over the situation. But if you are going to continuously ignore it or remain in darkness, guess what? Who is going to be suffering then? Tell me. Pisces, the page of wands. Okay, Pisces. Okay, I guess this card came in your uh, good stuff as well. So, like, uh, again, the enthusiasm, the energy, the childlike innocence that you have uh, in your energies right now, make good use of this energies as much as you can from your side because everything is temporary so if the universe is blessing you with this kind of energies this kind of enthusiasm and this kind of uh, let's do it kind of attitudes just do it okay make good use of this energy while it remains okay because again nothing is permanent not this energy not you not me nothing yeah so yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in with me. I'll see you guys uh, very, very soon in the coming videos. Bye-bye. God bless you. Namaste. Don't forget to subscribe to my subscribe to my another channel. I never said subscribe to this channel for some reason. The Modern Sanyasini. I'll definitely give the link in the description box and I'll, I'll leave the Insta ID page uh, link also in the description box and uh, just uh, give uh, love to that channel as well. That channel is a baby right now and it needs a little bit more love, right? So, goodbye, take care, namaste.